Hello friends and welcome and good morning and welcome once again to the Hindu editorial analysis of 38th March. Well, my dear friends, uh, well, see, if you want to know why am I so much excited because, see, it's because of the current, uh, you know, pro offer that's going on right now. Now, mega supreme. See, if uh, I were a student and I think that there's an offer which gets me the video courses of bank, railways, SSCs and all other examinations along with the mock test and ebooks then definitely i'll be this i'll be the one who will buy it right away no matter what it takes because see this is one time shot and once you are done with this you need not to spend any other money for all your study materials for the next one year so this is the deals of the deals you know and perhaps it's now or never my dear friends so go ahead and buy mega supreme from store.adadu7.com. Now, my dear friends, let's take a look at the motivational quote that we have here for you. So, believe in yourself, push your limits, experience life, conquer your goals, and be happy. So, see, the most important thing, the first thing, my dear friends, that should be there before you want to achieve any particular goal or before you want to become something in life, you need to believe in yourself that you can definitely do that. Then what happened? Then start testing yourself that how far can you go in order to achieve your goal. Then see, whenever you will try something new, you will get gain experience. So that's why you should gain experience in life. And finally, once you have got enough experience, when you have, when you, once you have tried enough, you will finally be able to conquer yourself or rather and your goals as well. And then finally, you will be happy. But my dear friends, you need to remember these steps. They have to be done in this, own, in this way only. And that's why and that's how in fact you are going to achieve success in life. So first of all, believe in yourself, then try your best and push your limits, then gain the various experiences that you have in life and try to use them in the best possible way. And finally, you will be successful and ultimately be happy. Okay, guys. So now let's come back to the center screen once again, my dear friends. So my dear friends, now it's time for us to take a look at the e-paper to know the various topics and articles that have got printed today. Let's go to the e-paper now. So guys, here's the first article for you. Time to reach out across the border. Now see, this is the first article that we have today and see what is this about. India and Pakistan must seize the resolution of the diplomatic spat to normalize bilateral ties. So see, you know, uh, Pakistan, by the way, had called back their envoy after it was after they alleged that, you know, that uh, his envoy, this uh, Pakistani envoy and his family got humiliated in India. In fact, it's uh, his kids were also school or stopped from going to school in India. So various issues were there. And because of which, you know, the this Pakistan people, they have called back their envoy. In fact, you know, they had also uh, caused various insults to our envoy there in Islamabad. But anyway, now it looks like that, you know, situations are coming back under control and things are definitely improving. Now, well, at your right away, it's given testing exam. The HRD ministry must pull out all stops to restore trust in the CBSE exam process. So this is the point over here. Now, see. Uh, it's not acceptable that uh, the exam paper get leaks, whether it's at any particular level. And, you know, when you're at school level, you're seriously not supposed to get the exam papers leaks. This is actually a very, very, very intense topic, a very problematic issue. And we have to analyze this for sure, my dear friends. We need to analyze this for sure. Now, then we can just let's go downstairs. So at uh, left over here all that's been left unsaid now rahul gandhi has still to explain what differentiates his uh, congress and from other parties well guys all the articles that we have uh, you know come across so far well, this HRD article that we will analyze today, that's also very important for bank and SSC examinations. But all of these three articles are extremely important for UPSC and state level examinations. And in fact, this uh, the top article that of India and Pakistan relations, this is a very important one from even IR point of view. So do take a look at this article for sure. So now this particular political article, which is which talks about Rahul Gandhi and Congress is also a pretty good article for UPSC examinations. So do take a look at this for sure. Now, my dear friends, at right away has given Kim in Beijing. So his his visit he his visit strategically brings China into North Korea's hectic diplomatic calendar. So, guys, this is actually a very very important article from the international relation point of view. It's about North Korea and China coming back together all together again. So, this is something that you guys should definitely take care of. It's a pretty good article for sure. Now. 
So here is actually an opinion based uh, you know article over here. Should gambling be legalized? Well, see, this is an awesome topic for descriptive writing as well as for group discussion. So do take a look and you know, definitely go through this article no matter which examinations you are taking. This is a very lovely article for all of you. Then tackling prejudice now see this is a very important article now what is it about well there's a long road ahead before transgender persons are accepted into the mainstream so this is about transgenders and this is something my dear friends that we are going to analyze today it's a very important article so we should analyze this article for sure now let's come back to the center screen once again my dear friends okay so guys that was uh, the review that was a complete review of all the articles that we have today but now it's time for us to take a look at the first article that we actually have here now all of us have no uh, all of us know about uh, you know the ssc scam that's going on perhaps the exam papers which keep on getting leaked again and again well now it's a real shame that even CBSC, you know, they, it has also come under this particular, it has also come within the criteria of this shameful exam paper leak. So let's take a look about this article now. Now, testing exam. The HRD ministry must pull out all stops to restore the trust in CBSC exam process because the exam paper leak does take out a lot of trust out of the CBSC exam process. Now, let's understand more about this. The Central Board of Secondary Education faces a serious erosion of credibility with the leak of its annual examination question papers on economics for class 12th and mathematics for class 10. Thousands of students are naturally frustrated that their best shot at these papers has come to naught. They must now make another strenuous effort in a re-examination. So the CBSC, by the way, faces a serious erosion of credibility. A lot of people, including me, you know, have lost faith in CBSC with the way in which the leak of its examination, annual examination question papers on economics for class 12th and also the math for class 10 got ha happened, you know. Thousands of students and in fact not thousands, it should be lakhs by the way, lakhs of students are actually naturally frustrated that their best shot and not only these students, even their peers and parents as well, you know, they are also extremely frustrated that the best shot that these students had at their paper has absolutely come to naught and now it's nothing at all. Now once again, the entire process has to start and they must actually fake, un they must actually uh, what do you say, make another strenuous effort, hard working effort in a re-examination once again. So, what is to be understood over here, clearly the Ministry of Human Resource Development failed to assign top priority to secrecy and integrity of the process considering that its standard operating procedure was easily breached and the questions were circulated on instant messaging platforms. So, very clearly the HRD ministry by the way actually totally failed to assign the top priority, the uppermost priority to secrecy and the integrity of the process of CBSC exam conduction, considering the fact that its standard operating procedure or SOP of so-called secrecy was very easily violated and breached and the questions were very easily being circulated on instant messaging platforms. Well, we have not named the exact platforms over here, but definitely the questions were shared on instant, on instant messaging platforms before coming to the examination. Now, let's understand more more over here so yet the problem is not new state board question papers have been leaked in the past when the HRD ministry was asked in looks about three years ago what it intended to do to secure the CBSC class 12 and examinations Smriti Irani who was then the minister asserted the inviolability of the process since the question papers were sealed and stored in secret places and released to authorized officials with a window of only a few hours so perhaps you know this uh, problem of leaking the newspaper of leaking the question paper before the examination is not new by the way state board question papers have got leaked in the past for sure and when the hrd ministry was asked in lok sabha almost three years ago what it intended to do to secure the cbsc class 12th and 10th examination smriti irani who was then the minister you know asserted and made sure and in fact you know she actually assured that the idea that the process is absolutely inviolable and you know and perhaps nobody can actually breeze through this process and because since and the reason she gave was that the question paper were absolutely sealed and stored in secret places and released to the authorized officials with a window of only a few hours okay guys now let's take a look at question number one that we have here for you so what do you think is the synonym for the word not N O U G H T. What is, do you think is the name of the word not? The options are complete, full, nothing, and everything. Well, see, 
Complete means entirety, that means an entirety in fullness of something. Then once again, full means something is within in total or incomplete. Then nothing means something which doesn't, nothing at all. You know, it means nothing at all, nothing. Okay, then everything means all whatever it is there. Okay, guys, so I hope till now you would have been able to answer. The correct answer over here is option number three, nothing. So you can write in the comment section, not equals to nothing, not equals to nothing. Now, this is not N-O-T not, it's N-O-U-G-S-T not. So remember this, so write down N-O-U-G-S-T not equals to nothing. All right, now let's come back to the article once again. So perhaps, you know, now let's learn more about this. In addition, the board has dedicated secrecy offers for each region, officers for each region, but the protocol has failed. HRD Minister Prakash Javedkar should conduct a thorough invest inquiry and investigation to get at the truth and initiate remedial steps without delay. So perhaps, you know, whatever secrecy was there was absolutely, you know, it got blown apart absolutely and the board has dedicated even though the board has dedicated secrecy officers for each and every region it really did not matter at all the protocol absolutely failed and the current hrd minister prakash javedkar should definitely conduct a thorough inquiry to get at the truth and initiate and start remedial steps without any detail at all now let's understand more over here one of the options is to institute a national testing agency Although it was originally supposed to take charge of entrance examination in the first phase, state school boards also need to help to reform systems. So now, what do we do now? Well, one of the options is to institute or get put together a national testing agency, though it was originally supposed, the original uh, act of uh, the original activity of national testing agency was supposed to take charge of entrance examination in the first phase, you know. State school boards also need help to reform system. So that's something that should be taken care of as well. Now let's see and let's take care of question number two that we have here for you. So which of the following is not true according to para one? This is what you have to answer my dear friends. Now see statement A is thousands of students are naturally frustrated that their best shot at these papers has come to naught. They must now make another strenuous effort in a re-examination. Then statement B is the question papers were sealed and stored in secret places re and released to authorized officials with a window of only a few hours. Now, option C is only option is to in institute a national testing agency, although it was originally supposed to take charge of entrance examinations in the first phase. So my dear friends, your options are right here. Option number one is only A. Option number two is only B. Option number three is only C. Option number four is only A and C. Option number five is only B and C. So whatever is the correct answer, correct option according to you, write them down in the comment section for sure. Now, so those question is about which of the following is not true. Now take a look at statement C carefully. Only option is to institute a national testing agency. Now, was it put like this in the passage? Did it talk about this being the only option? No, it said one of the options, not the only option. So that's why the correct answer of being not true over here has to be option number three, only C. Because statement C, my dear friends, is not true according to the passage. So the answer over here is 2-3 only C. And I hope you wrote the same in the comment section. Let's go back to the e-paper once again. Okay, so a major leak such as the one that has hit the CBSC raises a question often debated in academic circles. Is high stakes test the best option? To some sociologists, the use of a quantitative indicator with rising importance for social decision making makes it more vulnerable to corruption processes and distorts under, undermines the very processes it, intended, it is intended to monitor. So, you know, such a major leak like the one that recently hit the CBSC, raises an, raises, actually raises a question, you know, and it's a question which is quite oftenly discussed in uh, academic circles and educated circle and also elite circle. Is a high stake test the best option? Well, to some sociologists, the use of quantitative indicator with increasing importance for social decision making do make sense and in fact makes it also more vulnerable though not doesn't make sorry does not make any sense it actually makes it more weak and vulnerable in front of corruption pr pressures you know and also distorts and disturbs and also undermines or in fact you know reduces the effect of the very processes it was intended to monitor all right to check out now 
let's understand more over here so that seems to be an apt description or suitable description of what has taken place today what is needed is a credible testing method to assess a student's aptitude and learning so what we need today is actually a trustable testing method which should assess a student's aptitude and learning and not something uh, that actually measures the only quantitative point of view well my dear friends now let's take a look at question number three that we have here for you so let's go for that so what do you say is the synonym of the, for the word remedial? The options are corrective, harmful, injurious and damaging. Well see, damaging means something that causes harm, that causes damage. Then injurious, once again, something that causes injury. Harmful, simply that means, uh, you know, something that causes harm over here. Corrective means something which uh, corrects something or makes something proper or amends something. Well. If you have the answer for your question of the synonym of remedial, it's option number one, corrective. So you can write in the comment section, remedial equals to corrective, remedial equals to corrective. So that you are able to understand that remedial actually means to make amends or corrective. Okay, so remedial equals to corrective. Now, let's come back to the e-paper once again. So, so we were just talking about, you know, what exactly should be done, what should we do now, should be done now. Well, but the answer may lie not in uh, not in one all important examination, but in multiple assessments that achieve the same goal. Such an approach will end the scramble for high scores in definitive board examination and the exam stress that the government has been trying to alleviate. So see, the entire answer, the answer may not lie in one all important examination, but actually in multiple assessments, uh, all right, that actually achieve and get the same goal. Such an approach will end the scramble, you know, or the scramble or, or constantly running here and there for high scores, in fact, for high scores and also in a definite, in a particular board examination and also the exam stress that the government has been trying to reduce it, all right? So, see, my dear friends, now this makes me recall about my own board school. See, I've always been an average student and uh, in class 10th, when the students are supposed to get 95% and 90% and 80%, I just scored, you know, uh, what do you say? I just scored 64%, all right? So I was, although I was an ICSC student, but I was not that good in studies, all right? Then again, in class 12th, once again, all right? Uh, when I was in class 12th, I scored just 54%. I was just an above average student, just you can say an average actually, you know, a C grade and average student. But then again, uh, see, now I've been, you know, for almost the last 10 years, you know, I've been a part you know, of particular teams, you know. So, see, initially, I started uh, training to other students at school level. And, you know, almost, uh, it's been almost six, seven years that I have trained, I have been uh, on the team, rather, that has trained, you know, many aspirants who have actually achieved their life, you know. So, uh, something in life. So, thousands and thousands of uh, aspirants have been trained by our team, in which I was part of. And they have now, you know, they have been toppers initially in their school levels. And in fact, many of them have been toppers. Many of them have not been toppers. And yet they are doing well in life. So what I want to say is it really doesn't matter because, see, one examination cannot judge your potential, cannot judge your talents. You know, somebody might be a topper but not get a job. Somebody might not be a topper but doing an, ex an excellent job at his job. So that's the point over here. A single examination should not be the indicator for the talent of any particular aspirant or any particular student. Now, let's understand more over here. So, it will also limit the fallout of a leak. Now, these and other options need to be debated by academic experts. More immediately, the CBSC has to restore faith in this process. So, perhaps, you know, what should be done? Well, uh, definitely, it is also going to put a limit or put a break on the fallout of a particular leak. These and other options need to be debated and talked about by academic experts, you know, educational experts. And more immediately, the CBSC has to put back together the faith in its processes. Now, the board, by the way, the board went into in denial mode right away when the leaks were first reported, but subsequently decided to acknowledge the problem and order a fresh examination in two subjects. Now, in the current scheme, the annual exercise is all important to students. Everything should be done to inspire total confidence in the board examination. Now, exactly what exactly how uh, did the CBSE react to this? Initially, they went into denial mode and they were like, no leaks has offered, no exam paper, no question number, no question, uh, you know, were discussed, no question papers were circulated on sending messaging, nothing has happened, everything is okay. Then subsequently, they actually acknowledged the problem and also ordered a fresh examination 
in the two subjects all right then in the current scenario in the current scheme the annual exercise the which is actually all important to students you know everything should be done to make sure to inspire total confidence in the board examinations that should be done so that is the this is the thing you know how it should be done by the way now my dear friends let's take a look at question number 4 that we have here for you so let's see about that so which of the following is true according to the para well statement a says today what is needed method you know what is actually needed is a credible testing method to assess a student's aptitude and learning then statement b over here is such an aptitude such an approach rather will end the scramble for high scores in a definitive board examination and the exam stress that the government has been trying to alleviate well then statement c says nothing should be done to inspire total confidence in the board examinations well my dear friends your options right here option number 1 only a option 2 only b option 3 only c option 4 only c and b option 5 only b and a so you have to choose which of the following is true according to the para now if you will take a look at statement a and statement b you will find that they are absolutely true in the totality of the statement but then once once you take a look at statements you will find nothing should be done to inspire as written which means my dear friends there is something wrong over here it should be everything and not nothing that means my dear friends only option a and b or other statement a and b as you know they are true that means the correct answer over here has to be option number 5 only b and a so 4-5 only b and a is the answer because only b and a are true according to the para and i hope guys that you wrote in the comment section 4-5 only b and a if you haven't done it so far write it down right now 4-5 only b and a okay now so guys that was all about the first article it's an all it's a very important you know education article education based article and such articles do come in your examinations for sure so definitely take care of such articles whenever you find them in any newspaper in any magazine article because they are extremely important for your examinations now let's come back to the e paper once again and let's take a look at the second article that we have here for you okay so tackling prejudice now there is actually a long road ahead before uh, transgender persons are accepted into the mainstream so you know still there are many transgenders who are you know who are not basically you know they are not completely male they are not completely female they are a transgender they have a different gender they are a transgender person and but the main problem is they have not been accepted into the mainstream and still i think it's a long journey ahead and that's what this uh, perhaps this particular uh, you know author also feels over here so almost a month nearly a month after shanavi ponuswami a trans woman from tamil nadu uh, wrote to the president alleging that uh, air india had denied her a cabin crew job despite her clearing the written examination the ministry of social justice sent a bill on transgender rights to the cabinet with amendments such as suggested by the standing committee now So, my dear friends, this is a really, really, very sad because see, everybody wants a normal life. Everybody is a human being, no matter what their gender is, whether they are fem, whether they are male or female or a transgender. You know, so almost a month after Shanvi Ponuswami, who was a who is a transgender, a trans woman from Tamil Nadu, and she actually wrote to the president alleging that A India had denied her a cabin crew job despite her clearing their written examination. the ministry of social justice finally sent a bill on transgender rights to the cabinet with amendments and improvements as suggested by the standing committee now let's understand more over here so these include bringing public establishments under chapter 5 of the bill which prohibits and actually you know which prohibits digital discrimination in any matter relating to employment including but not limited to recruitment promotion and other related issues so perhaps you know now what exactly is the bill that has been sent by the ministry of social justice to the cabinet you know well this particular bill actually you know uh, brings various public establishments under chapter 5 of the bill which actually you know bars or puts actually a limit on discrimination and in fact bans discrimination in any matter relating to employment for transgenders including but not limited to the recruitment promotion and other related issues to the transgender so guys this is a very serious issue now let's take a look at question number 5 that we have here for you so what exactly is the antonym to the word prejudice now see the options are bias bigotry aversion or fairness now see you have to give us the antonym over here 
now bias means to be you know to, to be completely uh, you know favorism by the way to be completely towards in one particular you know uh, what do you say to come to be completely tilted to one particular side or to completely favor one particular side and not listen to the other side bigotry once again means craziness or insanity by the way aversion means hatred well see prejudice you know it's it means to have a what do you say a biased approach without any logical thinking or without any logical process well the correct answer the antonym of the word prejudice has to be fairness which means an absolutely fair process which are without any doubt so my dear friends the correct answer over here has to be option number four fairness okay guys that's the answer and i'm sure that you will be able to understand this for sure now let's take a look at the e-paper once again my dear friends so now see miss Swamis is not an isolated case it's not a separate case for every headline celebrating a transgender person's recruitment in a mainstream profession there is a contentious history so no matter whenever you come across a celebratory uh, you know headline for regarding any particular transgender person being recruited in the mainstream profession there'll always be a story behind it which will be an extremely uh, contentious and a st story of rejection and disagreements and a lot of argument. Now, take the case of K. Pritika Yashini, the first trans woman sub-inspector of police in India. It took an order from the Madras High Court for the Tamil Nadu in uh, Uniform Service Recruitment Board to appoint her. Now, talking about why did I say that no matter which transgender person enter a particular mainstream profession, there has to be a history or a story of disagreement and a lot of issues and a lot of pain. Well, just take the case of K. Pritika Yashini. She is the first trans woman sub-inspector of police in a, in a whole of India, in a whole of the seventh largest country in the world, the second the most populated country in the world. And yet it took an order from the Madras High Court for the Tamil Nadu Uniform Term Services Recruitment Board to appoint her. Well, that's seriously, extremely uh, sad. Well, now see, let's, let, let, let's learn a little more about this. Well, the Transgender Persons Protection of Rights Bill 2016 is a result of the 2014 Supreme Court judgment recognizing transgenders as a third gender and safeguarding the rights under the Article 21 of the Constitution. So this particular, you know, bill over here, the Transition Persons Protection of Rights Bill of 2016 is actually a final result of the 2014 Supreme Court verdict that very clearly recognizes transgenders as a third gender and also safeguards their rights under the Article 21 of the Constitution. Now, let's learn more about this. Apart from a welfare scheme for the community, the bill also lists obligations of establishments as well as recognizable offenses against the community, harassment of a transgender employee is an offense that carries with it a punishment of not less than six months imprisonment so perhaps you know apart from the welfare schemes and the good schemes for the community the bill also lists the various obligations of establishments as well as the recognizable offenses you know against the community of transgenders harassment of a transgender employee is actually an offense that carries with it a punishment of not less than six months imprisonment so that's really very welcome now let's understand more over here well this clause reminds us of the case of manabi bandhupadhyay a transgender who was appointed India's first college principal in 2015. However, she resigned from the post in 2016, uh, citing immense mental pressure due to the continued agitations against her by the faculty and the students. Nevertheless, her resignation wasn't accepted and she remains the principal. Well, this clause, you know, this clause regarding harassment of transgenders actually reminds us of the cause of Manabi Bondhupadhyay, by the way. Manabi Bondhupadhyay, who was actually, who was actually a transgender, and she was appointed as India's first college principal, you know, in 2015, India's first transgender college principal in 2015, though she resigned, by the way. She resigned from the post in 2016, citing immense mental pressure due to the continued agitations and protests against her because she was just a transgender and not anything about her talent, all right? And this protest was done against her by the faculty and the students constantly. Nevertheless, her resignation wasn't accepted and she still remains the principal. So that is actually quite good to see. So no matter somebody is a transgender, somebody is a male, somebody is actually a female, somebody is a Hindu, somebody is a Muslim. See, no matter. All of us are humans first and humans care for other humans. And that is why 
we are actually an intelligent species and that's why we are supposed to be humane towards one another. Okay, now let's take a look at question number six. That's most probably a parajumble. Let's see about that. So guys, here's a very beautiful parajumble for you. It's simply a seven sentence parajumble. Now what you need to do is you need to take good care of it. So take a good look at it, you know, and uh, make sure you are able to find the subject over here. You are able to find the logical pairs and you are also able to align them together. So pause the video and start finding the parajumble. I hope guys that you were able to get this parajumble. Now let's take a look at the correct order that we have here for you. So it's D A F B E G C. All right. Now, uh, statement B over here is uh, nearly a month after Shanai Ponaswami, a trans woman from Tamil Nadu. So this is the main subject where it opens. You know, wrote to a president, wrote to the president, alleging that Air India had denied her a cabin crew job despite her clearing the written examinations. This adds more information about state uh, about the subject over here. The Ministry of Social Justice sent a bill on transgender rights to the cabinet. Well, this is the action. This is the verb about this particular subject over here with amendments as suggested by the standing committee. So that adds more information. Now, this includes uh, this include bringing published establishments under Chapter 5 of the bill, which prohibits discrimination in any matter relating to the environment. So employment, so this is the object, you know. And then finally, the summary, including but not limited to recruitment, uh, pro promotion and other related issues. So I hope, guys, that you were able to get this order, D-A-F-B-E-G-C. And with regular practice, you will definitely improve in Parajambal. That's my faith in you. Now, let's see question number seven that we have here for you. So what exactly is the error in question number seven over here? Question number seven is, for every headline celebrating a transgender person's recruitment in mainstream profession, there is a contentious history. Now, my dear friends, what exactly is the error in question number seven? Does it lie in the first part or the second part or the third part or the fourth part? Or is it a no error? Pause the video and find the error. Okay, I hope you found the error now. So, for every headline celebrating a transgender person's recruitment in a mainstream profession, there, now see, it's given T H E I R. And see, we are not showing any particular possession because, see, T H E I R is a possessive adjective and it should be followed by a noun. But since there is no noun over here, there, after see, T H E I T H E R E should be used, adverb is you should be used over here all right so it's as it's followed by a helping verb is it should there should be an adverb over here and not possessive adjective so the error is in part three of question number seven now let's see question number eight over here apart from welfare schemes for the community the bill also lists obligations of establishments as well as recognizable offenses for the community so what do you think where's the error statement option one option two option three or four where's the error guys well if you feel there's no error it can also be a no it can also be option number five so pause the video and find the error well now let's see about question number eight apart from welfare schemes for the from the for the community the bill also lists obligations of establishments as well as recognizable offenses for the community now see it's offenses against the community, all right? So, whenever you commit a particular crime or commit an uh, offense, you commit an offense that is done against the community and not for. So, it should be against the community. That means, guys, 8-4 is your answer over here. And I hope that you scored really well. And I hope that your score today reached 8 on 8 for sure. If it's not 8 on 8, then whatever is your score, do share with us for sure. Now, Let's come back to the center screen once again, my dear friends. So that was all in today's Hindu editorial analysis. And do not forget that the Mega Supreme, the Bank Supreme and the SEC Supreme, it expires tonight at midnight. So do not make a mistake. Do not commit a mistake by not purchasing this offer. So go ahead and purchase this from store.adda247.com. And always remember that with a 7 government job will always be there in your pocket. Thank you and peace out.